What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we're back playing Minecraft in this episode. What? Oh, yeah, we are... <laughs> I totally forgot for a second there. I was space. Like, what are we doing in this episode? Uh, actually, in between this episode and the previous, I did one thing. I added the glowstone up there. And uh, that's it. And that's going to go on hold for uh, momentarily, basically for like one episode. Because in between this episode and the previous... Uh, between filmings here, I have been not so discourteously informed by a couple pilots, uh, two different ones, one in a personal message and one in a comment, that I missed a zombie dungeon. And with a little investigation in uh, creative mode, I actually discovered that, uh, and as I suspected, the two pilots were both talking about different dungeons. So there are actually two zombie dungeons underneath the perch. Uh, and the first one is down here. And these were both discovered by pilots who just found them from downloading the, the world save that I offered back when we first started this world. Uh, I put the download link in the description of that, of that video. And apparently, some of you guys actually downloaded it and started playing because you found zombie dungeons for me. I think one of them is down here. All I did was, was no clip through the ground and, and look down, and I saw two different dungeons, like right, right where people said they would be. One of them is down here. We've already been to this cave. When we dug the shaft here for the uh, slime farm, which is where that tunnel down there goes, if you remember correctly, I went over here and threw out a couple torches just so we wouldn't have creepers blowing up this area here. Well, it turns out that... Look at what the zombie's doing. They always turn in directions and stuff. The new AI makes them better at finding you in the long run, but they don't head straight for you anymore like they used to. They sort of wander about. Somewhere down in this cave, there's a zombie dungeon. I don't know if we'll, if we'll be able to find it or not. It's kind of labyrinthian down here. Get out of here! Let's turn on some more torches before I get more spawns on me here. And, uh, that's that. So yeah, lesson learned. Explore your friggin' caves, Poncho. Jesus. Alright, six string, six gunpowder, two bread, three ingots, and a bucket. Plus another bucket, two more ingots, a saddle, a redstone, and a piece of bread. Alright, spawner one, conquered. Zombie spawners are easy as hell, so that was a three second conquering. <laughs> There's only one zombie in there. That's bad luck on the spawner's um, part. Okay, now the other one is going to require a little bit of work, actually. Uh, let me go ahead and put a little staircase here. I could do something to block this. I don't know. I think we're going to find our way back to that spawner in a different way, though. And... Yeah, cause I, did, I did a little bit of snooping in creative mode, and it looked like the two spawners were really close together. Like, looking down, like I basically just did slash no clip and looked down through the ground where people were telling me to look. And I just saw, like, way down there, it looked like they were two spawners right next to each other, but I don't know, they could be at different heights or something, because one of them looked bigger than the other. And I wasn't sure if it was a 7x7 seven seven or a 5x5 five five or, or what was going on, but I got instructions. So the first one was to go down there and look for that one. And the uh, other pilot told me gave me really bad instructions, I thought. Like, one of them... Somebody gave me a red herring, and I spent, like, ten minutes looking around, like, where is it? I don't see anything down there. I, d I don't want to actually go down there, because that's too much. But I d ended up digging... They said, go around to the left, where the tree is, and there's a spot where it looks like one hole is missing. And it was like, oh, like, one piece of stone is missing. And if you look down right here, there's nothing. It's just, like, empty space all the way to the void. And it's like, that's not right. So I looked around some more, and I was like, is it here? And like, no, I guess not. And then I realized, you guys don't know left and right. So I tried going to the right, and I was like, okay, there aren't any trees over here. But wait! There were trees over here when we clipped the perch in. And I think one of the world downloads actually had those glitchy trees. Sure enough, I come over here to where the trees were, which is about here, and lo and behold, a single piece of cobble missing from the wall. So this is where we're going to dig down. <laughs> this was fun. Can you tell I enjoyed this off screen? I was like, what the heck are these people talking about? There's nothing down there. So I think, uh, if the, I think that the pilot was correct in saying, if I dig straight down from here, this would be a zombie dungeon. And it, I don't think it's the same one. It looked like they were two. Pretty awesome. So let's put these down as we go. And it, I, I'm really, I got my fingers crossed that the two of these are going to be close enough to do a double grinder. Because that is twice the experience in the same amount of time. It's not quite twice the experience in half the time, because that would be four times as much, and that's just not right. 
It's not what the math would say. You can't go against math. Math always wins. I don't think... I mean, it, it, actually, it looked like they were quite a ways down, but I have no idea. These spiral staircases are perfect for me knowing exactly not where I am. I can never tell how far down I've actually gone, because every step in the staircase looks... Oh, hello. There's a, oh, Jesus! <laughs> what are you doing there? Crazy skelly. Oh yeah, the melon farm has been prolific. I'm very, very pleased with the results there. Would you chill? Get out of here. Go away. Me. Shoo! Shoes, Skelly, don't bother me. Oh god, how many of you are there? Shit. That was three, right? Take on three Skellies at once. Come at me, bro. Cool beans. Look at all the iron and stuff down here. Uh, I don't... Hey! Come on now! Can I give me a warning or something? I knew he was coming. I was trying to come out to intercept him. Yeah! Get out of here. Is there a skelly spawner down here? That's ridiculous. That's a lot of skeletons. Get out of here. I got way too used to playing on the server where, uh, for some reason, the caves hardly spawn any mobs at all. That looks like an Enderman did that. There's a creeper! <laughs> Blow up! Like I... <laughs> Alright, getting distracted. I was supposed to keep going straight down, I think. So let me go back to where I was digging. I will come down here and get this iron, because I'm going to want it. Eventually. But I'll do that off screen, because just picking up minerals is not too exciting. Just want to put a couple torches down around here, so I don't get stuff wandering on, in on me while I'm trying to dig a little tunnel. Where was I? I was down here, wasn't I? Yeah, okay. I believe I want to continue straight down. Look at all the caves down here. Yeah, you guys were right. This is a... just an awesome... Um, like, a f I don't know if fertile is the right word. What the heck? Dude, there's a ravine out here. I think we actually saw this one on the surface a while back. But I'm not... We're pretty close to the perch still. Yeah, we're right out in front of the perch. There's this ravine on the map that we never did explore. We'll get to that someday, I think. Look, more Enderman shenanigans. Silly Ender Bros. Hello? Just do that. Anyway, we're going to continue down in this same path. And I might just derp. <laughs> I might just derp! That's actually pretty accurate. I may well derp. Let's make it a real staircase, shall we? Without a big drop right there, so I can actually get back up. Oh, yeah, I hear zombies. Now, I know the other zombie spawner is pretty close. But I don't know I mean, if I can... You can, you can hear mobs from like 16 blocks away or something like that, or... Or was it 60? I can't remember. I remember when I read it on the wiki that I thought it was ridiculously far, so it's probably like... Maybe 16 or more. Definitely hearing zombies. And it doesn't sound like just one this time. Yep! Look at that! Wow! You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for alerting me to both of these spawners. Rock on! Alright, so now what do I do? I'm <laughs> directly above them. Look at that! I was right on top of the spawner! That was perfect! That was great! Wow! You guys led me right to them. Now what do I do? Go down there and kill them? Yeah, let's go down there and kill them. Oh god, there's five of them. I can handle this. Just keep strafing. Circle strafe! Circle strafe to victory! Did more just spawn in? I thought there were only five. And it looks like I've killed... Oh god, my sword just broke. Shit! Shit! Shit. Okay, well I can stun the spawner, and then beat them to death with a pick. No, a shovel! Where's my battle axe? I forgot my battle axe! Yeah, zombies are just wimps. They've got no, they've got no chance. That was ridiculous. I should have died just then. I don't know. Maybe I'm actually getting good at the game. I used to... I would have died if I'd done that six months ago. Awesome! We've got another chest, too. Cocoa beans! Are you kidding me? I had cocoa beans right underneath the perch, and I never even... Two cocoa beans, too. Ah, there's water in my ear. I just showered. Hang on a second. Ah, I hate that. I just, like, I shower, I always wash my ears. And I, like, stick a finger in there and get them clean. And sometimes I get water in my ear when I'm doing that. And then it, like, drips out, like, an hour later. And if I have headphones on, that's not fun. It's like, ah, I got the headphones wet. That sucks. 
Okay, well, that was, um... Easy? Now the question is, where is that other spawner? Because... I think my bearings here on the map... We're facing... Okay, so the other spawner was inside the drop... Or was near the drop-off for... God, I have no conception of where the other spawner was relative to here. See, this is kind of tough, but what I can do is look at the coordinates. So, 387, 415, 35. I can actually do some calculations with, just with vectors to figure out how far apart those actually are. Let me write that down. So that's going to be... I have blank paper right on my desk. This is way too convenient. Negative 387, 415, 300, or 35. All right, cool. Let's go back to the other spawner, and I will... I think I might just meet you guys there. It's going to be very exciting to watch me. Eh, not what I wanted. Go there, because I'm going to try to build spawners in this, or grinders in this video, too. So I'll meet you back at the other spawner. Okay, well, I tell you, it's a good thing I actually came and looked for this one, because if I, if I had tried to dig in a random direction, I would have gone up into the side, and this other spawner, it seems, is actually lower. So that would have been bad. All right, well, let's get in here and look at the coordinates. And then I'm going to do a little vector calculus, or actually it's just linear algebra, and see... Look at it spin, but everything is too bright. Ha ha ha. Silly mob spawner. So that is negative 382. Okay, awesome. They're pretty much on a line that way. Five blocks apart that way. 403. They're 12 blocks apart that way. And 22. They are 13 blocks apart that way. So, let's see, that means that they're separated by a triangle. Really more of a pyramid. Actually, I can do this with paper. So, here's the math. It's the differences in, in the three coordinates uh, squared, summed, and square rooted. So, it's going to be the 5 goes to 25, and then the 12 goes to 144. The 13 is 169. I add those three numbers up. Let's see, 9 plus 4, 13 plus 5, 18, carry the 1, 13, carry the 1, 3, square root of 338, which is, what is 16 blocks? Okay, no, wait, I have to be within 16 blocks of each spawner for them to spawn, uh, for them to work. And so uh, that means I need to be, uh, so the total distance between the two can be like 31. 31 squared is 900. So these are way close. These are awesome, because this is a 338 rather than 900. So these spawners are definitely close enough for a double grinder. Awesome! Okay, so now I have to do is figure out which direction the other one's in, and I can dig to it, and I'll connect the two of the room just to make sure that I can stand in the middle and look and see flames on both. Because that's how you know it's working, is if, you, if the flames are on. I don't know if I can get far enough away here. I need, to, I need, I need I'll, I'll show you when, once I have the tunnel dug. I'm going to need to get another pick down here, too. So, yeah, let's see. Negative 387. Okay, that's... That would be this direction. So it's that way. And is it left or right? 415. It's left. Okay, so the other spawner is up there. Awesome. Let me, um... I don't have anything to mark that with, do I? Whatever. It's just, it's up that way. So when you come in, it's across the room and up. Alright, awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and make a couple more picks. And then, more zombies. Ugh. If there's a third spawner, I will shit myself. That would be amazing. Alright, so I'm gonna go back upstairs and get some more picks and tools, and then I'm gonna dig a room, just a diagonal tunnel, and hopefully I'll run right into the other spawner. Alrighty then, I am digging out the little tunnel now. I'm in the lower spawner. So what I did is I went over to the coordinate 87, and now I'm going diagonal straight up. And I think I'm just going to run right into it pretty soon here. I should come up... I'm headed straight for the spawner itself, so I should miss it, go right under, and come up after it. That's my that's my prediction here. Yep, I was right. No, 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 I was wrong. Okay, it's right there. Awesome. Well, perfect. Oh, look at that. I did it exactly right, then. It's right in my path. At eye level. Awesome. Okay, so now we have the two connected. Now I just need to be able to see whether or not I can get them both to light up at the same time. So to do that as a straight path from one to the other, what would I need to dig? Diagonal and down, I think, pretty much would straight down would do it, I think. 
I just need to be able to see the... T Actually, wait a minute. Okay, that one's off up there. You see how this doesn't have flames on it? And this one's on? If I hop up here, they're both on. I can barely fit them both on screen. They both have the flames going. Which is... This is confirmation. I'm standing in one place. I'll get right in the middle of the block, just so it's a little bit clearer. I'm standing in one place, and that's on. And so is that one. Awesome! That's just awesome. I can't even... I cannot express how pleased I am by this. This is going to be twice as good as the grinder we had in the previous world. So now it's just a matter of building it, and it's going to be hell. So I'm going to have to try to figure out how to combine the two of these. I'm going to have to have the zombies fall in whenever they merge, because zombies that walk right into each other will get jammed up and stop. So I'm going to need to find a way. I'm going to do the same thing as before, where I dig out the bottom of, the, of each room and lower the floor. Uh, two blocks, and then I'll run water along the floor, push all the zombies into a channel at the end, which will push them along until they go up through one of those sign and air things that alternates, and I'll have them go through that and then fall down. And the place where they fall down and land needs to be a place where both of them are, but it needs to be far enough away from each that it doesn't jam up the grinders, cause the, or, or jam up the spawner, because the spawner can only have six zombies within its radius. And so I think they have to be eight blocks away, but I have to be within 16 blocks of each. So I'm thinking I'm going to go over there at about the same height as that one, and I'll just bring these guys up farther, and then have them merge at the top and fall down. I don't know what's going to take to do that, but if anything complicated occurs, I will bring you guys back into the video. For now, I'm just going to dig out the bottoms of these and bring in a bunch of buckets of water. Alrighty then, just a status update here. I've dug this one. Yeah, the room is 7x7, seven seven, so it's ready to start spawning. I'm going to put the water in soon. And I have the whole water elevator thing here. And it goes all the way up there. And then for two buckets of water, so 16 squares, it goes across. And then it turns at a right angle and goes around like this. And then there's going to be a drop-off at the end, but I haven't put it in yet. So it'll be, it'll come in just down over there, I think. So I think it's going to be close enough for this one, at least, but f far enough away. Now I'm going to dig out the bottom one, which I was right, actually, is only a 5x5. Five five. So I'm going to expand the dungeon by to a 7x7 seven seven first off. And then I'm going to put a canal over on this wall. That'll push them over this way, and then up a very long water elevator. It's probably going to be like 35 signs long. That's how tall it'll be. Then, then they're going to go up and hopefully go right over into where that long fall is, and fall the same distance as the other zombies. So, yeah, I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm going to mine that out, uh, see how that takes, and I will meet you guys back in when I'm attempting to line up the two tunnels. Alrighty, I've decided I'm going to reverse engineer this, because there's no way I'm going to go up here and then try and match it up at the top. I'm going to play it like a maze and run backwards. So the coordinates we're aiming for are negative 378, 397, and all the way down at 20. So we're going to try and get down to here from the top part, which I've already pretty much done. I'm going to zip back up here. And we're going to go through the grinder as though we were a zombie. And hopefully come out over there, which will probably result in me falling to my death. Hmm. <laughs> Be right back. Ugh, dang it! Every single time I try and make a bow, I do that. It just, ugh! Get over here. Ridiculous! Anyway, I'm going to enchant this bow level 14. Just, I think you can get infinity at low levels, so I'm just going to go for it. I don't care. Whatever. Like, level 14 will be easy to get once we have a grinder going, even if it is only a single one, or a double, or whatever. So it's rock. Why are you not lit properly th thing? Whatever. I need a level 14 enchantment. This might... Well, there's a 12. Let's see if I can get exactly a 14. Oh, there's one. Scrolls free! Scrolls free! Hey, I didn't know they were selling it for so cheap. Ah! Power 2. Oh, that's crap. Oh, well. There goes 14 levels. So, back downstairs we go, now that I have no fear of death. 
Alrighty then, we're back here at the upper spawner. This is the one that I've already done. So once the sh shoot is done, it's going to push the zombies over here, and they're going to go up this water vader. Oh, this is going to be another one of those long episodes. So we're gonna, they're going to go up here, and this is like 25 blocks, I think, the way I calculated it out. So they end up back at this pretty much the same height. And so they get pushed this way, they fall down a square, that doesn't do any damage because there's water, and it's only one block. They get to here, and then this is where I, whoa, stopped. There's a chute down there that I dug. It's hard to back up the side. Now, this is where we want them to end up, so the water should stop here. Which means we need to go some... Yeah, there's a still a cave in the way down here. But we'll deal with that. We're going to just go right above it, and it's lit up, so it won't affect the spawners. Actually, I keep, I keep saying that, but it doesn't matter, because the grinders will spawn one way or the other, as long as there's not a light next to them. Okay, so of course we want to get to our negative 378. So I need to go two blocks this way. At some point, I need to make two blocks in this direction. And 397. Okay, so I want to go... Wait a minute. No, this way, actually. 397. So I need to get over here. I'm not going to get the zombies over there. I think for now I'm going to keep going in a straight line, actually. Okay. Somebody drowning around here? What the heck was that? You heard that, didn't you? Sound like a drowning zombie. Weird. Anyway, so eight blocks this way is how far I can go on flat cobble. So let's do that for a bit, shall we? Put a torch right over the hole. So they can see their death as it comes. Roaring unstoppably. Like a lion. Inexorable demise. Alright. Eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! So that's where the water will go. Okay, perfect. Now I just need to make this not have a hole. There we go. We'll do that. Okay, so I need to get over to 97. So I need to go a few more blocks this way. It actually might be easier to just go past it, because I think that once they go... Yeah, I'm going to go past it, so I'm going to do... I'm just going to go another eight blocks. Okay, I lost my count. One, so there's a space here so they don't get pushed in. Uh, so they don't jump in, rather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, up. Alright, and we'll continue. Make the ceiling high so they don't get caught up. The last thing we want them to do is get jammed up where we can't even see them. So we'll continue this way for, I think, just until I run out of uh, blocks run out of water on this bucket, so one, two, three, four, five, six, two more. Eight, right there. Okay, so this is eight. So you see now I've gone past 97, so 97 was here. But I need to get over to 78, which is two blocks this way. Let me just go over here. That's 79, so this is 78. So what I want is, uh, they might get caught up if I go on a corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. It's, there seem to be a lot of signs involved to keep this water in check. But if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, that's perfect. And there'll be two blocks of water here to push them over from 378. And then this is going to go up again. So what's going to happen here is it's going to be a little bit silly because we're going to have a bunch of signs and turns and things, but it's going to work out because it'll be basically impossible for the zombies to get jammed up in here. So I'm not going to let them get stuck on corners. All right, so I'm going to go to 378, 397. All right, perfect, right here. So these two blocks is where the hole all the way down is going to be. So we're going to dig. I'm just going to dig that down, and then I'll fill it up with um, water and signs. I've brought down a lot of wood, and we've got two buckets so far out of the just out of the dungeons we've been doing. We've found so we're set. I'm going to do this off screen because it's boring as hell and takes forever putting all these signs down. So I'll meet you guys back after I've done that. Alrighty then, to my complete amazement, this whole thing actually worked without me having to put a sign in here. Because, uh, derp, what the heck is there like, oh, there's a water flow down there. I don't know if I want this sign here or not. No, this will get pushed, okay. Basically, they get pushed around these corners and it's not a big deal. The fact that there are any signs there doesn't seem to be a hindrance at all. But I do need to remove a little bit of the ceiling here, I think, so that I can ensure that they're going to fall off the edges properly. 
as intended. There we go. <coughs> so they're going to get washed down here. And then I have just enough water, I think, to finish. Yes! Awesome! Okay, now all I need to do is go down there and figure out where that's coming from. So I just did a ridiculous... That was like 35 signs. That was just horrible. Alright, um... How do I want to do this? I might just do it like this, because I'm crazy like that. Don't you know? Yeah, didn't know you could do this, did ya? Ow. Oop. What the heck? I didn't take damage. That was weird. I think that was a bug. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I don't have any torches. I don't have any... <laughs> I have nothing but a pick. Okay, well, I, got... I know where my coordinates are, so I need to get over to... some open space here. Let me just dig out to my spawner, which I think is right over here. So I need to go to... 377. I'm already on 378. Okay, I'm just gonna head... Okay, wait. Wait. Yeah, here it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> this, is, this is just so I know where I'm at. Alright. So I'm in here. Yeah, maybe my armor protected me. That was weird. That's some kind of weird bug. I think it was because I was still like running on the wall or something. Anyway, so they're going to fall down here. And this is where they're going to land. And I think that's far enough away from this one. Uh, for not, not to jam up this spawner. It looks like, yeah, definitely eight blocks away. But the question is, where do I stand? Because I feel like if I stand in here somewhere, that's going to be fine. Because I'm going to be close enough to spawn there. And I'm going to be close enough to spawn down there, too, I think. I'm pretty sure that that's close enough. I mean, i gotta, I got to test it to be sure, you know. So let me um, dig down at an angle from there and hit that spawner, just so I can look at them both from that spot. I want to be absolutely sure this is going to work. Alright, so I'm going to stand something like here. I'll just I'll mark a spot so it's really, fairly clear. I don't have a shovel. Don't yell at me in the comments. I don't have a shovel in my, my, in my pants. So I'm using a pick to, to get dirt. I know. I don't care. I actually do have shovels. They're just over there in that chest. Okay, so there's that. I can't see it from this angle, though, can I? Dang it. Darn it! I'll just have to dig out a whole bunch of these so I can actually see it down there. Why not? Why the hell not? Well, why the hell not? Alright. Can I see it from up here? Yeah, it looks like it's lit. So I'm, st I'm close enough to that one. Close enough here. Alright, so I got my spot picked out. Let me put some iron... <laughs> no, let's not do that. Let me put some mossy cobble there, so that I know where to stand. Alright, awesome. Sweet! Now it's just a matter of bucketing the heck out of this place, and taking the torches out, and then digging a, a, la a ladder straight up, right here. <laughs> That's the plan. I'm at 32, so I don't actually have to go up very far, I don't think. But I might just make it a single tunnel ladder. I actually have enough... I brought loads of wood down here because I had to make, like, 70 signs or something in order to do this. So, I'm just going to make a crap ton of ladders. Oops. That's not how you do that. And I'm going to ladder my way out of here. So I'll meet you guys up topside. What the heck? Eh! I'm inside a creeper cave. Crap. Okay, well, I'm on the surface then, that seems. Hello. Yes! The light of day! Freedom! Just, ooh, let's we'll continue the way I was going then. Right, carry on then. And whoop! Up we are. Okay, so there's just, there's just going to be a random hole over here that goes straight down to where my zombie spawner is. I will probably put a lid on that, or at the very least, a little cover. But for now, there she is. She goes straight down to the square where I stand. That's so convenient! I probably want to put some torches in here eventually, too, so it's not totally dark. They don't go in the same square as a ladder, which sucks. But what can you do? 
All right, so I'm gonna do something to block this up here. So I think I'm just gonna derp. There we go, that fills that in. The zombies are gonna fall down here. So I'm just gonna stick something on the ground here so that they just can't uh, can't just walk right out at me. Honestly, if I wanted to, I could just, uh, I, can, I can make this prettier later, but for now, let's just leave it as it is. I've got, I got my spots to, to stand. Got my springs, I have another spring down there actually, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this one up. There we go. Now I'm going to evacuate these chests, and then I'm going to add the water, and I'm going to do this one at a time. I'm going to like turn one of them on. I, I need to have good access to the two of these spawners. So I think what I'm going to do is go down here and like drop a door or some trap doors or something. I don't know. That's going to affect the water flow though. So maybe I'll just make it wooden here. Yeah, let me do the bottom one first, actually, so I don't have to balls around with it once it's done. And I can just go up the stairs and say, oop, that's good, that's good enough. So the water here is weird. You see how it flows upstream? But it pushes them right in, so they're pretty much guaranteed to get up there. I think that this is right. So I should be able to go along the wall here and go up. Let me test this real fast. Yep, it works. Take out this tar tower I put in. So now it's just a matter of putting the water in here. Oh, I didn't lower the floor! Shenanigans! Okay, crap. Okay, well, I'm going to have to lower this one spot, which is fine, because I have another sign here. So, I'll just have to do a little bit of digging. Let me, um, plop that down. Yeah, let me lower all this one spot, which is totally cool. I can deal with that. And I'll just put, the, put a bucket of water here. They're going to get flushed into that, so it's, it'll flow the right direction once it's done. Okay, pick that up, dig this down a layer, and then I'll lower the floor of the room and meet you back. Okay, there we go, floor is lowered. My spring's still a little bit up there. Alright, so now I just need to put this back together. Humpty Dumpty, all back together again. Eh. Uh, I want buckets of water. There we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, so we got the water flowing, and... Oh, I forgot that water is crazy in Minecraft. So I'm gonna need to dig into the wall over here a little bit. Crap. Crap, crap. Freaking infinite sources. There we go. Alright. So what is this, seven blocks right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I just need to put them in the wall, that's all. That'll fix it. Eh. I take as many buckets of water as I can, actually, while I can still easily reach this. Okay, and then one there, one there, and one there. That will push them right over to the edge, and into this chute, going up that way. Wonderful, wonderful. That looks good. I like it, I like it. Alright, so I'll do that, and then I'm just gonna fill up these buckets again. So I'm only gonna need eh, four buckets at the top. Let me do that. And then I'll cover this up. I'm gonna take the torches out. And when I can I leave here, so that's gonna start spawning. Yep, there it goes. Don't care. I'm leaving. I'm leaving you, spawner. I don't want to see you again. Actually, yeah, I don't want to have to come back here again. That's true. Mm -hmm. And up we go. And it's dark in there. Alright, awesome. It is totally dark in there, right? Let me make double sure. No torches in here? Looks good. Alrighty. Boom. Dunsky. Alright, I can leave this here if I want. So I will. I'll just leave it. I'm going to cover it up with wood up here. So pretty soon, if it's working, we should have zombies falling over here. So I will listen intently for the sound of zombies hurting themselves. Oh, I hope that works. That took a lot of time to put together. Got all my tools in here. Okay. So at some point I'm going to back out the other side here. But oh, I forgot to bring all these upstairs. In. Oops. Alright. How much of these can I carry in my inventory? I'm already almost full. 
crud. Alright, well, let me just move the chest right in here then, rather than making it complicated. I can just, um... Gotta pick! Gotta pick! Gotta pick! I can just stick it right here. I don't want to have to deal with it right now. Signs! Cobblestone! What else is in this chest? Let's punch it and find out! And now for you... Getting wood. What the heck? That was weird. How do my achievements get reset? I don't know what's going on there. This game's crazy. Alright, take this one. Alright, now we can start putting the water in. Let me clear this sign out of the way. So the chute starts running again. That looks good. That's how it's supposed to... It's working! It's working! Name that movie. Alright, and then... Ooh. Synchronized moaning. The zombies are getting into it. Yeah, it puts up against the spawner. Just where I want it to be. Alright. And then here. And it's gonna be there, too. So... What the heck? Water? Hello? There we go. I was like, why is it going all sideways? Crap, I'm doing the same mistake I did last time. I'm not putting them in the wall like I'm supposed to. Eh. 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 Wait a minute, I should pick up at least two of these. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Where's my pick? Where's my pick? Okay, and let me duplicate one of these because I'm going to need one more. I got four of them now. That's all I need. Two, three, and <laughs> that's gonna go right in here. So I'm gonna do that as I back out. Well, dang it! Would you quit? Would you quit being crazy? Water physics, you're so you're so crazy. Seriously, just stop. <laughs> just stop it, water. You're irritating me. There we go. You gonna flow the right direction now? One of you is still slacking. I think it's you, isn't it? Yes! Alright, there we go. That looks good. Alright, now I'm gonna start punching the torches, backing out. Swim away! Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's starting. It begins! Oh, come on now. Alright. I'm out of here! I'm gonna drown. Ah, oh, this takes forever to do when you're underwater. Oh my goodness, come on now. Let's go, let's go! Got places to be. Well, the spawner's definitely working. It's certainly dark in here. Okay, good. Do I have a pick or something I can get some air with? Let me break this one space here. So I can fill that in. Okay. Now I want to go over this way. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Okay, seriously? You guys are loud already. Irritatingly so. Ah, it's like, come on, just break already. Now it's letting in sunlight, it looks like, from over there. I'm not sure what's going to be faster, the pick or my hand. Do I have my axe on me? I don't have an axe. I don't have an axe on me! Oh, I'm gonna drown. Get some air. Well, this could have been planned a little bit better here. My exit strategy, I think, is kind of crap, but whatever. Break already! There we go. Do that and that. Awesome! Now it's finally closed off. Look at all the zombies. How much health have they got left? Two hits with the, with the fist? It's not too bad. Alright, let's see if any of them are falling in and dying. So I mean I screwed up something fundamental. Hopefully I didn't screw up that bad. He's alive! He's alive! I'd like a little bit more room down here if possible. Okay, I'll put another chest down. 
<laughs> Two hits. Okay, that's not bad. With a stone sword, that'll be a one-hit kill, and stone swords are basically free, so that's fine with me. I don't mind that at all. <laughs> Come on, zombies. I wish I could see up there how well they're pushing each other off. Shall I no-clip to investigate? Is that legit? Is that fine? That's fine with me. I'm gonna do it. I've been no-clipping occasionally throughout this to check stuff, but yeah, look at that. It's coming in from both directions, too. They're kind of bumping into each other a lot, but it's fine. It looks like they're clearing themselves through okay. And they're all falling the same height, so it looks good. This is actually really educational. This might be good to show. So we got one spawner here. It's spawning. And it's shooting them up this long water vader here. And then they go across like this, down here and around a corner, and down to where the collection area is down there. The other spawner... See, the collection area is here. The other spawner is down there, below us. And we're within range of it when we're in here, see? We're within range of both of them, actually. So this is spawning too. Yep, there it goes. And then it goes up here. And these guys go way the hell up here. Look how long this water vader is. Look at him spin. <laughs> guy's going nuts. Okay. A bunch of them were doing that, actually. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Way up here. And then they get to this, and it just runs them around the corner. Let me see how... Let me observe how this works. How well it works, rather. Oh, look at him. He's getting caught in the corner. He'll probably bump himself out of there, won't he? Whatever. His friend is fine. There's only enough room for one guy to get stuck there, which is fine. One zombie is not a big deal. And yeah, there he goes. He just cleared himself out. So then they come down here, and they push each other in. As anticipated. And they fall down this shaft and become part of the ridiculous mass of zombies here. Now how do I push them down? How do I prevent this from just going nuts? Okay. That's really loud. Let me clear a little air above me so I can un un no clip without falling through the earth. There was a spot in a previous video a couple episodes ago where I, ca I came back from a cut and it was visible that I had been using flying to make things easier. And that's true. I don't I don't ever um my view on mods and like single player commands and stuff in this LP is if it doesn't affect the gameplay at all and it, it doesn't um basically if it's not going to be in the video and it doesn't change anything important I don't care about like whatever. So like if I need to be able to see something and it's easy to just like use a mod to like look at it rather than spending like several hours off screen trying to figure something out or whatever. I'll just go the easy path. Which, you know, it's just a little bit of movie magic. No cheating. Alrighty then. Put this back. Derp. Get out of here. Yeah, this is going crazy. It's definitely spawning up twice as fast as last time. That's awesome. I'm already, I'm already up to level 10. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this dirt so I don't have to walk into that ladder every time. So this is where I'll stand, right here. And I'm pretty sure, actually, anywhere in this room is probably close enough for both of these guys to go off, because I'm definitely close enough to that one. So that's awesome. So now if I were really cool, I'd have this adjust... I'd have, I'd have some pistons in the walls in there, I'd have, like, a block replacer, so that I could stick some glowstone in the, into the walls whenever I didn't want them to go crazy, just spawning all the time. The thing is, it won't spawn if you're outside the vicinity of the spawners, so you don't need that kind of stuff. You can just go upstairs and they'll fix it. Level 10! All right! We're done. I am, I'm, in, I'm pleased with the results of this project. I think things have worked out quite well here. We have this whole area essentially. We we kick some ass. We got a double, a double zombie grinder now, so I can get experience ridiculously fast. I'm very pleased. I'm gonna beautify this, and I'm gonna improve it in, a, in an aesthetic way. And that's basically it. We're done with it uh, at this point. So that's awesome. So that, so that was our <laughs> one video side journey into crazy double zombie spawner. Screw you, Mr. Skeleton. And, yeah, in the next episode we're going to get back into potion making, so if you had a comment to say about potion making and you didn't leave it on the previous video, go ahead and leave it on this one, because I'm, I'm still going to read the last videos and this video's comments to make sure that I get all of the potion advice. And I, I have loads of stuff in here. I You guys are talking about nether wart and spider eye. I've got both of those. I've got some mushrooms, too, and i got some blaze rods and magma cream. 
I don't know what it takes. And of course I have redstone and glowstone dust as well. So I think I have everything I need from what you guys are saying. Just give me some... Like, like the two most useful potions, what are they? And how do I make them? That's the question. Also, how do you make cauldrons? Because it's not like five iron and a U, because that's a minecart, and it's not, and it's not three, because that's a bucket, so I'm like, I'm lost on how to make a cauldron. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this ridiculous episode of Let's Play Minecraft. I will see you next time.